everyone! Today I'm going to show you my second of three nail tutorials. This pumpkin and marble nail design. First, to begin, apply a base coat. Next, apply a black polish to your index finger and ring finger. This will be the base for the pumpkin design. Next, apply orange polish to the other nails. That would be your thumb, middle, and pinky. At this point, this is what your nail should look like, alternating black and orange. For this next part, you're going to need a large dotting tool or a bobby pin, and you will also need a small dotting tool or a toothpick. Taking orange polish on your black nails, start creating the line for the top of your pumpkin. Next, fill in your pumpkin with the orange polish. Since black is so dark, go ahead and do a second coat just in case your orange isn't opaque enough. And make sure to cap off the end. You don't want black polish showing at the tips of your nails. Next, taking a brown polish in your large dotting tool, create the stem of your pumpkin. Start with a dot and swipe upwards. Do the same thing with green for the leaves, except with the small dotting tool. Dot and swipe up. For the pumpkin design, take a yellow polish and start drawing in your jack-o'-lantern. Begin with your eyes, your nose, and of course, the mouth. You can do whatever design you prefer. I have small nails, so I try to keep it basic. Fill in as necessary. Next, you can do this extra step, which is taking a black striper and lining your jack-o'-lantern pattern so that you can see the yellow much more prominent. As you can see, I'm not the best at, a, at striping. I'm still learning. Next, for your marble nails, take black polish and apply it to your orange polish. While the polish is still wet, crumple up some saran wrap and dab it along the top of your nail. This will remove the wet nail polish and create a marble effect. This is called the saran wrap marble. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably already seen this design. Next, take a Q-tip with nail polish remover and clean around the edges. To finish off the look, apply a top coat. This will smooth out the harsh lines from the saran wrap marble. Otherwise, you'll have a goopy looking mess. Do the same thing for your pumpkin to seal in your design. There you have it, here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this tutorial, want to see more, please comment, like, and subscribe. I will have another nail tutorial coming up. It'll be my third and final of the Halloween nail series. And of course, if you haven't already checked out the previous nail design, please check out my ghosts and ghouls. Thank you guys for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty.